Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Ephemeral Tale, a fun retro inspired RPG. We are currently in the Bayou Bog. We did not get through it in the last episode, so we're going to continue trying to find what we need to find in this episode. We have been making good progress since the last, well, in the last episode, we made some pretty good progress. And then likewise, hopefully we'll be able to make some progress in this episode. It came down to choosing the right items and just kind of pushing for it. it items make a lot of difference in this game. Really, really make a huge difference. And as I recommended in the last episode, I would recommend every so often to just strip all your items and go through and slowly try to figure out what the best you have because there are an immense amount of items in this game. And I would highly recommend trying some of the different ones out. Not only that, but also just you have to go through every once in a while and figure out what is going to be beneficial to you how you're going to play and you know the style of which you play whether you're going to be much more of a you know melee attacker or a magic user is going to make a lot of difference in how you which items you pick in assassin's murder mitts i have not seen that before so i'm curious what that is as i said there is a ton of items here as you can see here's the list of weapons that I have quite a long list of weapons that I could choose from now there are a lot of duplicates that's okay because there's the level differences make a difference and the colors makes a difference as well so you can still see we're going through a quite a long list there we go Normal attacks with this weapon caused burst damage. I'm not sure what burst damage is, but I think I'm gonna keep with what I have. The orange weapons or the orange items have infinite durability and I really like to just not worry about durability. I'm doing well, we're making good progress and we fight, need to find another lost kitten. Unfortunately, we ran into that in the last episode where we needed to find a kitten to put on that pedestal. It looks like we need to find a, another one somewhere in the bayou. And where that is, is going to be anybody's guess. Hopefully though, it's going to be fairly close because the more we walk around, the more fighting that we have to do. And that's not really necessarily a bad thing. It does get us energy. It does get us experience and items, but at some point you're gonna run out of health potions. You're gonna run out of magic. And I'm getting a little worried about that. We are, we have been in the bayou for quite some time and I'm just getting a little nervous about how much time that we can stay in here without running out of something. But we're doing good so far. We're going through most of these battles. We're getting a lot of crits. We're hitting most of the time. We're getting a bunch of items. We're even grabbing some repair kits, which are gonna be useful for the one item that we do have that still has a durability. So there, I mean, it's going good. It's definitely going good. It's just, yeah, we just gotta find stuff. And sometimes that is a little bit of a trick to do. If you come up against this tiger guy, definitely hit him first. He has a multi-attack, so I would highly recommend taking him out as quickly as you can. Now the Cluckatrice, they have a poison, so that can hurt you as well, but I think the multi-attack overall does a much more damage than the poison. The poison will inflict a little bit of damage every turn, regardless, I guess, if they hit you or not. 
but the multi-attack I think does more damage now where in the world would that little cat thing be we're kind of just going around in circles and if you've been around the channel for a any length of time you know that in places like this in a maze like setting typically what I do is go always right or always left 99% of the time that's going to get you where you want you're not going to wander around you have a path a clear path that you know you want to take which is a plus it keeps you from wandering over the same area over and over again did i go up here did i take this life turn you know whatever it would be you kind of question that if you're always going right or left it may take a little bit longer to get where you want to be but you're not overall it's going to take a little bit less time because you're not going to be wandering around in circles and that's really it applies to so many different games just any time that you have a maze like or a, a confusing area it's best to do this i'm going to grab heal here and heal up merlin i have a absolutely ton of magic what are they called they're called magic water i believe is what they're called that refills your mana i have like three times as many of those as i do health potions so really i would rather go out of magic a lot sooner and a lot quicker see we have 19 potions and 50 magic water so healing up the magic is not going to be near as difficult as healing up the health potions I really got to change the there is an option in there in which you can change the step requirement before a new random encounter so one of the difficulty settings is a setting in which you can specify how many steps is needed before there is the option of or a chance i should say of a random encounter the default setting is 25 and i really like that that's a very good normal kind of feel to it but you can move it up to 150 i don't know the max but you can move it up quite a bit so that you could move further between your random encounters now there is a downside of that you round random encounters fights battles they give you experience listed as power in this game but that's a big deal you need to have that experience and if you don't have that experience because you have set it out so that your random encounters are much further apart then you're going to be a lot lower level and therefore would have to i think grind more often and i would say that it would be better to better to keep that low so that you're hitting those random encounters and still be able to get that experience i'm fighting these all the time here but i'll be okay it's not going to be that big of a deal there like i said we're doing well we're making progress in this game which is definitely a good thing we have kind of once we've beat the first three main areas and went into the second three main areas it really kind of slogged down and there might be a little bit of a a level gap there but i do think that it's not as big as what i originally thought i was thinking that it was a really large level gap but it was seemed to be now when i'm looking at it more of an item issue than a a level gap i just was not optimized in my items that's why i recommend that you would check that out every once in a while there we go we got those we got the little kitty kitty that is good now we have to go back uh 
Okay, I just, <laughs> every once in a while, I'm like, uh oh, I'm out of magic. Let's go ahead and use an item and go ahead and use a magic water. I think I'll be okay. It's not gonna hurt me too bad to go ahead and take one of these out, these out. That was not good. I hope that doesn't happen again. I probably should have taken a health potion there or a, okay, hold on, let's just chill. I still have 275, let's go for it. I have 275, I think I'll be able to get through here. The enemies are dropping, so they're going to be doing a little less damage as we go through here. Here, I'm going to actually, now that we're down to one enemy, I'm gonna go ahead, not, no, that, uh, not an item. I wanna go ahead and heal. Ah, oh, shoot, it's the wrong person. I'm on the wrong, okay. Let's go ahead and hit him. That may or may not kill him all the way. It did not. That's what I was kind of hoping for. Magic heal me up. And then I wanna go ahead and hit him with another fire, which should definitely kill him. I'm trying my hardest not to use I wonder what I got there. There was something there that looked different. And I'm not sure what it was. We got all kinds of things that I've never get attacked to scale with escape count. That That's interesting. So the more I escape, the more that's going to increase my attack. That's quite an interesting... I don't know how to, how to say it. Interesting setup or an interesting idea for a, an item i was thinking there was something there maybe it was that steel studded helm that looked a little weird there we've got a lot of these before the library sharp bookmark the unhoned apprentice these are all pretty good weapons i mean it's all again a lot of it depends exactly on how you want to use your character because you can use them in a very different ways and try to go more of a magic type or more of a physical hit type they are doing a lot of damage to me and i really need to be able to heal up a little bit better here somewhere somehow some way i need to do some more healing than what i'm doing because i feel that it is a losing let's go ahead and heal it me again and then maybe in the next round or the next battle i can heal merlin to start off with but i probably should grab a a magic water nope not equipment i keep on doing that i keep on getting my items and my equipment mixed up and i'm not sure why i do that but every once in a while when i want one or the other and I end up picking the wrong one it was just up here i believe where the where the set the statue i need where i need to put the statue that's what I'm, she did 200 and some damage on me that's a lot of damage to do to me but that's all right, I, I got it, we, we can handle this. We got over 1200 health here and it does go up every turn because of a ring that I have, which is good, that is very helpful, but I have poison on me. I'm right now poisoned. One of the mushrooms poisoned me, so I am going to be losing, I think, probably a little bit more than I'm gaining every round. The, what was it, it was a, I forget the florinthi ring regenerates five hp every round and that does count outside of battle too so every time i step out here it also i'm thinking it was up here up above us but i'm not 100 percent sure about that so even when i'm out of battle each step that i take i will gain my hit points up and same with merlin and magic he will refill his magic every round or his mana i guess as you say and it will also refill when he's outside of battle and now clark she refills her health outside of battle because she is a healer while he is a magic user 
and in the next there's one more area that we have to do we've done the rose garden we've done i don't think this is the right way we've done the rose garden we've done this is the bayou and we have one more area to do i believe we're going to take clark in that area just to kind of see show off the how she works in relationship to merlin there's one other companion that you can have is siegfried he's a really strong character but i'm not a big fan of him i'm not sure why but it just there's something about him that is i don't like we have we've gotten another one of those rings which is good those forinthi rings i probably will not put another repair kit on them which increases the durability because i've got several of them i have one here there's i i know there's several other ones up here there's another one i could just go there's another one i can go through and just start using these up until maybe until the last one there's another chlorinth oh that's a chlorinthi band which re regenerates your hp instead i'm curious maybe not this one my leather gloves i wonder how those jester boots i really like that <laughs> i really like that although my defense goes down which i really don't like i want to have a strong defense i believe the defense affects how hard you're hit it kind of a buffer there i'm yeah okay it's up this way i'm like i'm not sure where that little cat thing was now but i think i'm on the right track now merlin hopefully we can get through oh ouch ouch so we're gonna have to heal him i like to have heal here and i probably won't use it much once we go over to clark but it's nice to have that option on him just in case so we could heal either merlin or if we wanted to siegfried because i, I mean merlin's doing a lot more damage than i am per round i'm running just under 200 and he's hitting a lot harder than that and that's kind of why i i like him there we go let's put the other cat statue there and lower the barricade <laughs> one step away and we get hit i'm going to go ahead and heal him again just to kind of top him off these cluckatrices are not too bad we could take them oh no we don't want to heal we can take them out pretty quickly not sure merlin is going to heal that up i thought he healed his m mana when he so what does he have he has 130 so let's take a few steps up into this area and see if he has oh no he still has 130 so maybe he doesn't heal up like i thought he did oh there it goes 145 so it does maybe it's a few steps then you will heal some up not every step but it does look like he is healing up some mana every turn i really like those crits those are nice those crits make it a lot easier to fight oh there we go that's a perfect example why now i always use the double attack because he was right there at that little sliver of health left and you would think oh yeah one hit will do it let's not use double attack but as soon as you do you're going to move move you're going to miss that first or second attack and he's going to still live or when you do the double attack you're going to miss one and still hit so he dies if you did a normal attack you could miss it and then he would you know still be alive okay yes yeah, smack the big bell that should we did this a couple episodes oh we get a oh an anthill looks like we get a boss fight here in the well last one we did but we had to kill the boss before we we killed the boss before we smacked the bell this time smacking the bell brought the bat boss so it's a plant i 145 we're going to still check and see if the 
I want to see if gust or fire does more damage it did I think 145 there oh 450 that would be over 200 let's try that a couple more times here I'm gonna have to take a an item here let's see what Gus does another 211 I think that's doing a lot better than the let's grab an item magic water and with the double attack you think well I you wouldn't want to take that you know time off to take that but with the double attack you kind of come back around and it does it, it evens out even though I took a turn to heal the or got more mana when I do the double strike now it counts up for that missed turn so doing this double strike all the time is going to even out and I you know I'm gonna keep uh, he only has two more times I'm gonna go ahead and hit him and then I'm going to no I'm gonna go ahead because it's it's gonna give me a little bit more each time so we're gonna be back I will be able to do one next round too and I should be completely out then because that round will give me another 15 and with a crit we might make it I'm there we go yeah that was actually a pretty easy battle there worked out the uh, cursed blessed is reacting to something that should heal or cure the cur yeah cleansed it there we go we cleanse it of their curse now do we want to walk back or do we want to take the fragile recall rune that is always a debate and i think what would be best i think i want to jump and do the wow the recall rune so we could jump back to the traveler's respite and be able to do a couple things i'll get me some skill gems i will switch over to clark and we could even set up for the next episode by going to the last area which we're looks like we're getting pretty close i don't know how the how hard the last area is going to be but yeah it's we're we're getting close i believe to the end of the game which is cool it's a lot of fun it's still in early access there is a link down in the, the description for the game if you want to pick it up we will be covering it more as it goes on and if a new big update or something drops we'll we'll cover that and probably do another run through maybe of the game just to kind of you know continue with keeping up with the game i'm really enjoying it and i recommend it very much and i can't wait to see what the full game offers there is still a lot even if we do the other area there is there's side quests there's a lot of stuff that we have not gotten into that i would i'm curious about but not sure if i would go and search out there are side quests and there's a lot of other stuff that you can do to fluff out i'm not fluff out the game that, that that's the wrong connotation i'm trying to set but definitely there are other things to do in the game if you would like to do them so let's go up here and see what else we can get flash charge if it, let's do our stats up that's all, always a, a good thing to grab and then our attack defense up but there's still a lot of skills to go through a rally or a confluence i don't know what confluence does i've never even seen that so there is quite a bit of skill tree less left to explore if we wanted to again here's a good a reason of if i want to do attack if i wanted a physical character or if i wanted a magical character that's how i mean there's a lot of these and you can see that i've been choosing the physical instead of the magical because that's the kind of character that i want to play then we need to i'm going to rest here so that i'm nice and fit and ready to go Come on, give me the option to rest. Oh, here we go. I got to hit the button again. There we go. I want to rest. And what that does is fills your health back up and your magic back up as well. 
what we are going to do in here now that we have Clark we're going to switch out one of our items I would actually like to find a a infinite durability one but we'll go with what we have because she heals so good what I want to do so we've talked about this in this, several of the previous episodes is there's an item here that I really enjoy that has it basically every attack does a double attack it has something called a recoil so when you do a single attack it's a double attack and when you do a double attack it's actually a quad attack and that's what the recoil effect does but the bad thing about that the bad thing is the recoil also does half of the attack damage to you something that i didn't notice in the last playthrough but noticed in this playthrough and with her being able to heal me i can't find this item there it is shoddy twine is what it's called so we're going to switch that up and what it's going to do she's going to be clark's just basically going to be a healer continually just healing me up and she's not going to be able need to attack because i'm going to be doing basically the attacks for her because i'm going to be attacking twice as often now and we'll kind of show that off when we get up here place our hand on it what level am i gonna be like 35 by now i wonder what the max level in this game is so we did the royal rose garden this is the bayou bog and we have one more i believe it's a graveyard or something what is it the graveyard grove now i i think we've peeked in here a little bit but i definitely don't remember what is in here i like the kind of spooky blur to the edge and the cloud cover over top of it there's a really cool effect going on here with the graphics that i really like so we're where we went right in the in the last area i just chose to go left in this area just again so that we can cover everything just to make sure that we go into all the spots and i kind of want to get down to back around to that i saw a treasure chest over there but we haven't really got in here and seen these creatures very much so i'm very curious to see what they do so there you go you can see i did four attacks there now her magic she has heal revive which brings me back alive now rejuvenation it, it will heal me over several turns but what i'm going to do is just have her attack here because i'm not hurt really but there you go she did a 10 210 damage there so there she's definitely not defenseless i guess you should say did i do the double strike there we go now that was two crits out of there that's a lot but every second attack there it's going to do me double damage so when the recoil activates it will do me damage as well but with clark we should be able considering that we have so many she has magic and healing and magic we should be able to heal pretty good here that gargle is pretty cool the succubus is pretty sweet as well yeah we're doing really good here i like this i like it i don't really need to have her attack right now 200 i mean 210 half that 107 that's nothing to sneeze at definitely she's doing damage here and can do some damage she is she gonna crit every time i feel that she's like critted most of the time she's attacked but you can see i'm down quite a bit that recoil does do a lot of damage i want to get down there i have no idea how to get down there but there's all kinds of interesting stuff there i'm almost like did i miss something going through here oh okay okay so we got to keep our eyes open here because there appears to be little items or little ladders that i was unaware of i want to see how that rejuvenation works too of course we have that ring as well which is going to help us get a little bit back every turn as well so 
it's kind of nice to have that ring. Another thing that we could do is do two of the rings at a time and that will uh, heal us up as well. So it'll kind of counteract the attack there or the damage that the recoil does. You saw there that the zombies have a ability to come back, which is kind of cool. Yeah, we're going to keep our eyes open because you see like right above me, there's those two little stones. Those are ladders. And we're going to have to keep our eyes open to make sure that we see those so that we're able to go every way. And we just keep on looking around and we will search this area real quick. There's nothing here. And that's going to be our episode today. I'm excited to go through here and see what else is in the Graveyard Grove. But we'll have to wait until the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody.